Hey, Yelena here, and welcome to another awesome FixRunner WordPress tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to use Gmail SMTP plugin to solve WordPress sending email issues. If you notice that your WordPress website is unable to send emails, it could mean there is a problem with the email server in your web host. You can easily resolve this issue by installing the Gmail SMTP plugin. Using a free Google account, you can configure Gmail SMTP to send out emails from your WordPress website. This is usually a straightforward process and should not take more than 30 minutes to complete. When you install the Gmail SMTP plugin, WordPress would no longer need to send emails to your web host's email server. Instead, emails will be sent using Gmail servers. Also, instead of using the PHP mail function, which is very easy to abuse, Gmail SMTP uses PHP Mailer library, which is much more secure. To set up your Gmail SMTP plugin, click on Plugin in the left-hand side of your WordPress admin. Then, click on Add New. In the search bar, type Gmail SMTP. When it appears in the search result, click on Install Now and wait for a few moments. When the installation is complete, this button changes to Activate. Click on this button to activate the plugin. After the plugin gets activated, it will take you to the plugins page. Scroll down to Gmail SMTP and then click on Settings. Now you need to go to Google API Console. Just type Google API Console in the Google search bar. Then click on the first link. In the Google APIs dashboard, create a new project by clicking on Create Project. Then, give your project a name and then click on Create. Once your project is created, it will ask you to enable APIs and services. To do that, click on API Library. Scroll down and click on G Suite on the left-hand side. Then, click on Gmail API and click on Enable. When the Gmail API is enabled, it will redirect you to a new page. Here, it is asking us to create credentials to get started. So, click on Create Credentials. Then, in the new page, you see it says, if you want, you can skip this step and create an API key, client ID, or service account. Click on Client ID. Now, to create a client's ID, first we need to set up a product name on the consent screen. So, click on Configure Consent Screen. Here, we can select the user type. We get two options, internal and external. The internal user type is only available to users within your organization, while the external type is available to any user with a Google account. You can select the user type, then click on Create. 
In the application name, write the name of the application asking for consent. You can upload a logo here if you want. Now we have to authorize our domain. To do that, first copy your domain and paste it here. Then copy the website URL and paste it here. Then click on Save. Now we will make an OAuth client ID. To do that, click on Credentials, then click on Create Credentials. Select OAuth Client ID. Now we have to select the application type. To select the application type, just click here and you will see the different types of applications provided to us. Click on the web application. Give your application a name. Then we have to add an authorized redirect URL. Your authorized redirect URL is provided in Gmail SMTP plugins settings page. So just go there, copy the URL and paste it here. Then click on create. Now you can see that your OAuth client ID is created. Copy your client ID and paste it into your Gmail SMTP plugin. Then copy your client secret and paste it here, below our client ID. Now put in your OAuth email address which you will use for SMTP authentication. Make sure this is the same as the one used in the Google Developers Console. Now, put in the form address. This email address will be used when sending an email. Then, type in the form name. Disable the SSL certificate verification. Then click on Save Changes. Once your changes have been saved, here you can see that the SMTP status is not connected. So, to connect it, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Grant Permission. Choose your Google account and grant permission to that account. Then you can see that the SMTP status is now connected. You can send a test email to see if everything is working properly. To do that, click on Test Email. Type in the email address to whom you want to send this email. Write the subject and the message. Then click on send email. If you do not see the test message in your inbox, then check your spam folder. So this is how you can install the Gmail SMTP plugin in WordPress to solve your email issues. That's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.